Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing NADEN workflow automation on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then using the curl command, we'll install the Node.js apt repository. Then we'll install Node.js by running sudo apt install Node.js. Followed by apt install MariaDB server and MariaDB client to install the MySQL database backend. Next, we'll elevate our terminal to root privileges with sudo su, then run the MySQL secure installation script, follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password, and remove known MySQL vulnerabilities. Log into the MySQL database using mysql-u root and the password set earlier. Using SQL commands, we'll create the NADN database and create an NADN MySQL service account with full permissions to the new database. We'll flush the MySQL privileges and exit the MySQL prompt and the elevated root prompt. Next, we'll set some environmental variables to set up the MySQL database connection properties. These values should match what was created in the MySQL database. With our variables set, we'll run npm install nadin to download and install the Node.js dependencies. Then we'll run npm audit fix to patch any known vulnerabilities. And finally, run nadin to temporarily launch the application. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 5678. Complete the form to set up an owner account by entering an email address, first name, last name, and password. Then click next to continue. Complete filling out the questionnaire, then click continue. Now that we've verified NADN is installed and working, we need to set it up to run when the system starts. Navigate back to the terminal and press Ctrl C to kill the running process. Then we'll create an NADN service file and edit it in the nano editor. Paste the service configuration from the video description. Then press Ctrl O to save your changes and Ctrl X to close out of nano. Run systemctl daemon reload. Then systemctl enable nadn dash dash now to start and enable the new service. We can use the systemctl status command to view the status of the new service and make sure no errors occurred. Back in the web browser, refresh the nadn tab. Log back in using the email address and password we set up earlier. Welcome to nadn workflow automation running natively inside Linux.